six with cheese we do local videos on wednesday and today badass breakfast burritos only available via pickup or delivery it's inside a ghost kitchen the latest trend in the restaurant world ghost and virtual kitchens americans spent 10 billion dollars on food delivery services last year and restaurants large and small are looking to cash in by using extra kitchen capacity to service delivery. We'll see what it's all about. Corey, you want a breakfast burrito today? Uh, yeah. He's steering, he's ready. Look at the car fly. See you soon. Good. Thank you. All right, guys, two badass breakfast burritos acquired from badass breakfast burritos jump cut. All right, a little Corey Wagner second angle on this burrito. All right, shiny foil, open it up, and uh, boom, there's the burrito. And there, I, there's not yeah. much going to be How do you second do it, angle, right? I so, know. Um, you'll see what happens when we eat it. <laughs> And that is a burrito. So when you cut it in half, here's what you're looking at. A little bacon, a little egg, a little cheese, jalapenos, avocado. Corey, this is the Bronco burrito. Cool. Was That's the, only one. Uh, the one that O.J. Simpson tried to run from the cops in. He drove he this, yes, absolutely. On June 17th, 1994, O.J. Simpson became the most famous fugitive on the planet. This was also the only one on the menu that was like really showing its spice game, so that's why I ordered it. Pickled jalapenos. Oh, okay. Well, we're Pickled good. jalapenos. That's easy stuff. All right, Bronco Burrito, badass breakfast burritos. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, very good. Tater tots. Tater tots. Mm -hmm. Avocado, cheese. Yeah, this is full of taste. This is uh, Cotija cheese. C-O-T-I-J-A. Hard, lighter cheese from a cow. And Cotija is a city in Mexico. So, just trying to, you know, the more you... Mmm, good. Yeah, it's got a lot of good taste. $8.99 for one of these burritos. And Kitchen United Mix, four different locations around the country. My favorite part about this is definitely the tater tots. Mm -hmm. Very tasty, I'm a big fan. As a frequent smoker of the weed, I'm a big fan of putting random items in my burritos. Mm. And also as an Irishman, the potato, the potato is a big part of my life. Yeah. For the third year running, you give me a potato. Oh. This is so good. Like, you can get this at 8 in the morning there, or you can get it at 11 at night. I love that. Sometimes you just need that breakfast burrito after some pops, adult beverages, or some weed. Man, this would hit the spot like 10 p.m. Sometimes I'm craving breakfast. That's not our policy. You have to order something from the lunch menu. I don't want lunch. I want breakfast. Yeah, well, hey. I'm really sorry. Hey, I'm really sorry too. Mm, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I brought some Sixer sauce. I figured this would probably be really good on a burrito. Oh yeah, guaranteed. Fresh bottle too. Would you like some? Yes, please, sir. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Get it, move it around, get it all up in there. You're smart. Oh man. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hot sauce and burritos just go together. Good crispy tortilla. You gotta crisp the tortilla, I feel like, if you're gonna do this. This one is just so good. They put it on that flat top, I bet, a little bit. Or a little griddle or something. I love the little bit crispier tortilla. I hate to be the contrarian, but mine's very soft. I just don't want people, I, I get nervous. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's setting people up for false realities. I'm not getting, no offense or nothing, but mine's not crispy. I didn't cook it. <laughs> no, no offense, but I got zero crisp That's on mine. Totally fine. I get the crispiest and the tater tots for sure though. I feel like this type of thing, to hold all these ingredients in and keep it compact like this, mm -hmm. definitely getting a little little char in that tortilla would be nice. Like more for yours would have been really great. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those flavors are working. Smoked bacon, baby. Big fan of bacon right here. And this has white American cheese. Cotija, and then also white American. Oh, there's two cheeses. Mm -hmm. And chipotle aioli. Do you taste any chipotle aioli? I don't know what my taste buds are feeling right now. Damn. Oh, where are you going? Don't you dare. That is just a good looking burrito right there. Yeah, it sure is. That's a looker. It's gonna be 85 degrees in Chicago today. 
according to my Apple Watch. You lie, ooh, 86, I lied. Such a fan of that ghost kitchen idea. I love that. Especially having this little warehouse of food like two streets away from my apartment. Ghost Spoiled. kitchen? That's what they call them, ghost kitchens. That's the industry term, apparently. I watched a little news segment on it. Huh. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like what I would assume it is. If I heard ghost kitchen, I think that was going to be an interesting show on true TV. It does. <laughs> it does sound like a real true TV show. These virtual kitchens are run out of existing restaurant kitchens. There are also ghost kitchens, which are standalone centers. Both serve the growing online delivery category. Also, a really cool thing about Kitchen United Mix, when you order on their website, you're skipping all the Grubhub and DoorDash and everything, and you're getting more money to the people that are actually like businesses that are making the food. They have 13 different restaurants in that one. You can order like a chicken sandwich from this place, a hot dog from this place, a little pizza from this place, and it doesn't upcharge you or anything. You can just like, it's almost like being at a food court at the mall, but just having someone go and get all your food for you and put it right in front of you. I love that you can like get a bunch of different tastes. Like if your wife wants one, thing and you want this you don't have to go to two different places i like that i like that all right before we go ahead and rate the bronco burrito let's do a shout out patreon shout out patreon shout out patreon shout out dude we got patreon yeah patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese the best way to support creators i think on youtube is to go over there to their patreons look at their tiers and specifically what one kind of appeals to you you want a free t-shirt you want to be able to pick where we go do you want early access to the content that we edit it's all on there for different tiers so today we're going to name somebody two people one person dos amigos dos friends <laughs> Who have signed up? Here's your shout outs. Patreon shout out name number one, Mr. Bill Sankinson. Bill signed up for the $5 a month. And just so you guys know, any Patreon amount during quarantine, you're getting all the content as soon as we're done editing it on the Patreon page. So Bill's been reaping the awards of that. Reaping, see, reap words. So Bill, thank you. And Patreon shout out number two goes to Mr. Doug H. Woo! Doug donates one dinero, mm -hmm. which uh, like we said, everybody's getting early access. So right now for one buck a month, that's like a nickel of video or something like that. Yeah. He gets to see all of our content early. Like there's some stuff that we just put on uh, Patreon that was like four weeks early. <laughs> End of <was>, June. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I think the last one was like June 18th. And yeah. that was like a week ago that I put it up mm -hmm. from when we filmed this. So like, yeah, dude, for a, a nickel of video or something crazy, this guy's able to see stuff like a month in advance. So it's a pretty cool little thing we got there for these guys. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Check it out. Support your favorite creators. If we're some of your favorites, hey, you know, click the link below. Badass breakfast burritos available all damn day. The Bronco out of five old school Denver Broncos helmets. How many old school Denver Broncos helmets do you give the Bronco burrito, badass breakfast burritos, Corey? It was an excellent burrito. Very hearty. It was mm. large. Yeah. Very good size. I like the tater tots in there. The bacon uh, wasn't primo bacon, in my opinion, but it didn't really matter. It's not like I was like, oh, I'm missing the bacon. The flavor was so good regardless. Um, the flavor really came through, particularly when I was nibbling on those little crunchy tots. I think I've probably had better burrito. It feels like there was like room for improvement, so I'm not gonna give it a perfect, but it was an excellent, excellent, excellent breakfast burrito. I'm gonna go with a 3.9. Ooh, so damn close to what I was thinking the whole time. Uh, I agree. The bacon was a little flimsy, a little floppy, or could have used a little more of it. Keep in mind, I was the moron that once said that too crispy of bacon can cut some bread up, so maybe I'm contradicting myself. If it's too big and kind of like uh, wavy, it'll kind of sometimes throws off like it starts to tear the bread or whatever. Like, what? What? But yeah, I think there could have been a little bit more bacon and made it a little crispier. But like you said, that was just a solid-ass burrito. I think nine bucks is pretty solid oh, for that. Oh, I think it's such a good price. Like, this is it's this would be four fifty for this. This is a big-ass half a burrito. Yeah. I really like that. Sizable. I was I was thinking the entire time 4.0. Wow, look at that. That's a solid breakfast burrito. Inside Kitchen United Mix, uh, that's why we got the doghouse bag. Doghouse is like we've done a review of this place. Scott, Scott Baioli. Scott Baioli. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my wow. God. Jonathan. Jonathan Giles. Yeah. They are starting like a bunch of little sub brands like Mother, Bad Mother Clucka Sandwich, which is in there, uh, some different burgers, badass breakfast burritos. So they're kind of starting a bunch of different brands. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's a food review. We'll be back here tomorrow, Thursday, for a brand new video, as you know, on this channel. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Let us know your favorite breakfast burritos if that's a thing that you're into. We'll see you soon. You're so fine. Let your body take control